I thought I'd put together a YouTube video talking about how I did the various steps while I made this diorama. I made this using about 80% leather. I used hairs like boar's hair and some other things. Um, the shorter grass and the needles are made out of synthetic fibers. I created real-time lightning bugs by running fiber optics through the scene. There's a video at the end. If you check that out, you can see them going. I embedded two little teeny leather fish into the epoxy. They're both about the size of a drop of water. A smallmouth bass and a northern pike. The diorama is about 23 inches by 18 inches. After I decided how big I wanted it and kind of the rough design where I wanted the cliff and like a little field with the trees, I uh, cut a hole so I could run the fiber optics through. I started cutting the different shapes after I figured out exactly how I wanted everything. Uh, I would kind of have a template set up and then once I cut one layer I would trim that template down, use that to mark the next layer of leather and I worked up in a few layers, glued them down real good and set some weights with a board on top and let them dry. Then after they dried I would do a few more layers. For the terrain I mixed acrylic paint into leather dust. I added just enough paint for like the consistency of wet sand and then let that dry. If the color needed to be a little brighter or deeper toned, I would mix some more paint and let it dry again. If I did too much, it would just get muddy and clump up real bad. Like the pinks and whites and things like that took quite a few coats to get enough paint worked onto the little pieces of, of leather dust to get the colors I wanted. The rocks I made by mixing uh, water-based glue, like an Elmer's glue, a clear Elmer's glue, into the colored leather dust. And I would just kind of drop globs in there and then mush the leather dust into that glob until it kind of had a consistency of clay. Shape it how I wanted it, let it dry, and then after it dried you could sand it and uh, even carve it a little bit. I added a little bit of rocks, real rocks, to the riverbed, very small percentage. I did that so I could have people guess and think which ones were real and which ones were fake, but unfortunately I forgot which few were real and they just kind of blend in. I can't, I don't remember which ones were which. I used a couple different sizes of fiber optics to run into the scene. That way the lightning bugs had some variety to them, a little more realistic if some were dimmer and smaller, some were a little larger. I used natural hairs like boar's hair to make tufts of grass little strip of glue and you lay the hairs down into that glue kind of bunched up right where the glue is sitting and when it dries you can peel them off, cut them and trim that bottom. If I was just placing it in the grass a little bit of glue and just stick it down in there it worked pretty good. If it was more of a dirt area I had to make a little bit of a hole or something with a needle so that it would get down in there and look more realistic. I did these flowers by using a boar's hair and I would dip it in glue and then tap it down into some colored leather dust to make the little flower petals. The excess leather dust when I was making larger rocks had a lot of little chunks and things in it so I would just run that through a screen and it gave me a lot of little rocks and things that I could cut and carve. The pine trees I made using wooden dowels and wire. I would spray it with some glue and then run some colored leather dust over it Sometimes you had to press it down a little bit, but if you do it too much, it doesn't really have that barky quality to it. Then I would take a little bit of paint, dry brush some different colors on it, give it some highlights and things. You could even kind of carve it a little bit, kind of press it in for little chunks that were missing. I used some spray paint and my airbrush to color the trees. Then I sprinkled some natural and artificial fibers to make the smaller branches and the pine needles. Before I made any of the holes for the trees, I had them kind of stuck in some styrofoam and I placed them around, tried to figure out exactly where I wanted them to be. And once I had a pretty good idea where I wanted everything, I numbered the trees and then I made tags uh, to put in the hole so I knew exactly where they would go. I also, when I put the trees in the styrofoam, I had a north side marked so that I knew exactly which way the trees would be facing and I could go back and airbrush and pull some of the little needles off and things where the tree branches might be more dead if they're together with other trees real tight they wouldn't be getting the light a little more of a realistic quality I made small piles of short artificial fibers then dropped a couple drops of diluted uh, flat Mod Podge that I mixed a little bit of brown into 
So it kind of gave it the highlights and the darkness. Once it dries just a little bit and you can kind of form the little nests too. The fish were done by skiving very thin pieces. The shape of this skiver has kind of a curvature to it already so it kind of gave girth to the body of the fish. So I would do that and then I painted them with acrylic, kind of sanded them and cut little fibers and things off. The acrylic kind of helped seal the layers. Then after that I colored the different shades and the patterns to match the natural fish colors. One is a northern pike and one is a smallmouth bass. I did the water by adding just a couple drops of an alcohol ink to dye the epoxy and after I poured it and it hardened I took some gloss Mod Podge and put it down relatively thick and blowed it with my airbrush to kind of give ripples and after that dried I took some uh, water effects like a clear gel and put that kind of around the rocks and trailed it behind the rocks for like the buildup of water and dry brush some white acrylic over that kind of a stippling kind of blotted it with a, a paintbrush that I clipped the ends of just to give it kind of the bubbly effect. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.